It's Warcraft. Yay! Greetings, everybody. This is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is going to be a replay request by once again none other than Mofad, who is spawning over here at the bottom six o'clock or rather five o'clock position on this map, Turtle Rock. He will be having an opposite spawn and will be playing up against a player known as Alien FFA who is spawning as the Red Orc on the top at the 9.30 or rather 10 o'clock position of this map. This is going to be Turtle Rock and this matchup is going to be very special. So before we begin, just like to bring it up that the capital Z is coming back with our tournaments and events and we have Forgotten Battlefields Season 4 coming in this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. For the players that want to sign up, head on to the challenge link. That's challenge.com slash forgotten4. Sign up right now to compete. This will be played on maps such as Knollwood, Terrestrial Glade, Terna Stand OG, Plunder Isle. Um, and I don't remember, I can't see the screen right now, so I'm in the game, so there we go. You can see all the maps over there. This will be happening, and you can go and sign up for it right now. Coming back into the game, this is a part of the replay request series, a series where anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays to cast. All you gotta know is, well, all you gotta do is head on to my Discord server, link to that is in the description below. We are going to be having a Blade Master on the side of Alien FFA and Mofat going in for a late hero Dreadlord. Interesting. Mofat's going to choose to go Ghoul play, Mass Ghoul's Dreadlord. Uh, strategy versus Orc. I think this can work out to be really well. Uh, coming back to the chat, Mofat did answer me, but boring Corona life. Yeah, you know, Corona, work from home, economy. Life is bad, but, but, but. But we still have hope. Oh, hey there, Jockey. We forged! So, anyways, instead of being a complete emotional wreck today, we shall cover up some games. As we have the uh, Blade Master of Alien FFA going in, selling off his TP for a circlet of nobility, immediately going in near to Mofat's base. They, I don't think any of the players have done any kind of scouting. He doesn't know that Mofat is here right now, and uh, surprisingly, he. He kinda is going for the cam that I believe Mofat got the same for the same cam? I don't think so. I don't think so. He, Mofat seems to be going for the expansion. He did buy the uh, sacrificial skull there. So uh, Alien FFA gonna pick this camp up, this distance camp over here on the other side of the map. And this is a brilliant strategy on the side of Alien FFA of going for this particular camp and uh, denying the experience that you can gain from this camp to your opponent. Considering the fact that on T Turtle Rock now you can only have either a cross spawn or opposite spawn. We don't have close spawns anymore on Turtle Rock. Uh, Jockey says blame Reforge for Corona. Yes. Yes. Blame Reforge for Corona. Corona was the... Well, Reforge was the co-author for 2020. So, Corona's been in 2020. So, everything's been downhill ever since. So, there we go. Ah, there it is. As Mofad is trying to put down an expansion right here. I don't think Alien FFA had detected the expansion just yet. Although there is a grunt nearby. He's gonna detect that right now if he hasn't detected that yet. Gonna whack that ghoul before he heads in and actually takes up the expansion. There we go. Big Gargam should sort of see getting taken out. And Mofad getting in the sleep. Gotta get us around. Get us around. I think he got it. Oh, it narrow opening. Allowing the grunt to escape. But this time, Mofad gonna go after it again. And is, is he gonna get it? He's gonna get it! He's gonna get it! There we go! Grunt surrounded! Uh, uh, uh. Can't go! Can't move out! He can't move out! Oh! Ah. And the grunt goes down. Alien FFA. Gotta be a bit angry after losing a 700 HP grunt there. And he's gonna go right after Mofel expansion. Gonna whack it, or rather slash it with the Blade Master there. Going after that haunted gold mine and oh wow he's actually gonna be successful in taking it out that dps baby sleep sleep oh, okay mofad didn't have enough sleep over there uh, uh yeah mofad didn't have enough sleep uh uh jockey says you're very lively to this for me yeah i mean i've been an emotional wreck kind of so I'm, I'm like i mean there's really no there's really nothing that you can gain from that so that, let's just let's just let's just let the positivity sink in the power of positivity, baby! 
as Mofa just uh, lost his expansion attempt, gonna put it down once again. Uh, Blade Master is super weak right now, gonna heal away using the healing salves there. And oh no, Mofat is creeping here. Blade Master could actually go for that, but uh, we got an Arubian Tower to defend it, so they won't have that much DPS this time. So he's gonna have to let it up, uh, let it come up, or uh, have to come up with a better strategy to uh, counter this. The currently scenario is that uh, Alien FFA going for a pretty standard orc build, a classic orc build with uh, the Blade Master and uh, Shadowhunter coming in second hero. Runs are creeping around the map solo while the Blade Master goes for doing Blade Master things, as we like to say. And tier 3 coming in actually. Whoa, what is his plan? Is he gonna go for Tri Hero? I believe strongly he's gonna go for Tri Hero. As he finishes off that creep camp, and it appears that Blade Master is going in for more camps as well. And uh, yeah, we don't have tier 2 buildings coming in. He's got enough gold to put that down, but he ain't putting that down right now. Uh, he got a slight advantage ahead of Mofad, considering the fact that Mofad is putting down the expansion, which is already, by the way, delayed because of Blade Master. And uh, since Mofad's uh, tech is gonna be delayed as well, so he's got an advantage that he can take against Mofad right now, which he needs to take right away. And uh, what do we have here? If uh, I had used the Scroll of Beast, I would have saved the expo. Um, debatable, but okay, I'll give you that. It's gonna go have a sleep down on the Blade Master, but you got enough mana for a wind walk. Uh, so the thing is, like, I mean, even if you know that the Blade Master is gonna wind walk away. You at least make it use the mana. So that's necessary in this scenario, which Mofad did. Make uh, the Blade Master use the mana. And oh no, he's gonna go for tower? No, 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 no tower, no tower. Shadowhunter going in for some stuff there. Uh, Jockey says Torns. Hmm, why not? Why the hell not? And Alien FFA going for the exact thing. He's going tier 3 Torrents, baby. War Mail and Torrent Totem being dropped down. Mofad has no idea of this right now. And ghouls are gonna get annihilated against polarizing torrents there. Here comes the blade master going right after those ghouls. Ghouls taking a lot of damage and the creeps are on the hunt as well. Damn. The jockey says I predicted it. Absolutely jockey. You definitely predicted that one down there right right in the middle. Uh, sleeping cast on one of those grunts there. Grunt gotta get surrounded. Gotta have a healing wave bounce off of it. Mofad not really in a good position right now if you ask me getting having to deal with uh, Alien FFA and the creep camp there gonna have to get this uh, Ogre Magi uh, Ogre Magi and the watch award that uh, comes in as a reward for it Ghoul being attacked and gonna get taken out with authority More ghouls getting taken out. I mean this, this, that DPS is too much man. I don't think ghouls are good against uh, Orc uh, classic orc in general like I mean look at the DPS that he got with the blade master and all the stuff around it There's so much DPS of course the DPS is gonna cut down with the Nerubian tower, but ghouls are gonna go down We have a lot of food space right now as the ghouls just went down uh, Basically became a lot of cannon fodder for the enemy heroes to get near level 3 uh, Dreadlord is also by the way very near to level 3 right now and you're gonna whack uh, the blade master a bit uh, coming back to the chat, uh, Mofad says could be mass walkers. Ah, mass walkers and torrents. I mean, nobody's really gonna go for mass walkers. Walkers really are damage dealers. Walkers are supposed to be the back line. We got reinforced defenses coming in because reforged, I guess. As the alien FFA goes in for this camp, gonna try and creep it out while trying to keep Mofad away from him, but Mofad coming right in. And he knows that as long as Mofad is there, that Watch Award may just go into the hand of Mofad. And if that happens, it's gonna be disaster all the way for Alien FFA. That's Watch Award gonna detect the Blade Master as he walks around that area where Mofad's expansion is. Uh, we got Slaughterhouse Temple of the Dam coming in, so I'm a bit curious to see what Mofad goes in for. Um, fancy play? I mean, I guess this is gonna be a classic undead build. I don't see a uh, possibility of Necro Wagon. I mean, I don't really want to lose. I, I don't really want to completely rule out the possibility of uh, Necro Wagon. And absolutely, this is what I predicted earlier. Tri Hero combo coming in towards Mofad, and this is something that Mofad is gonna have to deal with. Tri Hero is just very devastating. Big War Storm going down. I mean, you got the DPS, classic orc DPS with the Blade Master, uh, healing effect with the Shadow Hunter, and then you have the War Stomp. The big freaking War Stomp coming down, and that's really devastating there. Mofat securing a nice defense on his expansion, and a Death Knight coming in from the backline. Whoa! 
Oh, he's gonna put down a counter expansion here. As Mofa tries to come in and try to foil it. Oh no, this is a 600 gold pocket great hall which is currently being attacked by Mofa right now. Likely not gonna go down, but the creeps aren't really dead yet there, so that's gonna be a thing there. Uh, Alien FFA doing a good job of uh, driving Mofa away for the time being, but. Uh, he's not. He, it's not safe yet. It's not secure just yet. You gotta kill the big Gargantuan Sea Turtle before you before you secure that there. And uh, don't forget Endurance Aura says Jockey. Absolutely. Necro uh, Walkers with Torrents, Necro Wagons. Yeah, that's that's the thing there. Tier three to get Tiny Great Hall. Absolutely, Tiny Great Hall, baby. We got Potion of Invulnerability, which means 15 seconds of invulnerability. On either of those heroes there you're gonna have a like 15 seconds divine shield on your hero and imagine a 15 second uh, blade master invulnerable bouncing all over your army and you can do absolutely nothing about it yeah that's what Mofa is gonna have to face at one point of this game right now as he gets his lich out and uh, oh he's going for necromancers this is gonna be necro wagon he's got so much gold what the hell mofad i didn't even see the w3 bar there that warcraft 3 booster bar on the top you got like two 2k gold going on there you guys got the expansion sure that's cool and all but i mean you're gonna have to use it to be able to gain some benefit on the other side your opponent has been making good use of his um gold there and he even secured an expansion with uh whatever he gained there uh jockey says this dude uses tiny great hall like me ah uh, that's one way of doing a tiny great haul, I guess. Ducky says, go, go, mo fat, necro, wagon. Absolutely there. Django of endurance. Ah, that's painful. I mean, you already got endurance aura as Torn Chieftain, but if you didn't take the endurance aura and you, you took shockwave, now you got a pocket endurance aura, which is actually good. But I'm pretty sure he took endurance aura, did he? Yeah, he took endurance aura. He's gonna have to use uh, like spend a 300 gold on a tomb of retail training. I I just I mean I didn't make that up. I think that is what I last recall about tomb of retraining. I could be wrong though. Uh, big red camp being taken by uh, alien FFA and he's going in for the other big red camp as well. It appears to me uh, that's gonna give him some good items. Morphite on the other side gonna secure a big. Well, I wouldn't call this a big red camp. This is a red camp, but not a big red camp. But that will give him a lion orb of storm wind. The anti anti uh, death knight um, spell uh, uh, aura. I wouldn't call this anti death knight aura, or rather the reverse death knight aura, uh, because death knights are technically paladins in reverse as humans, and uh, paladins have devotion aura. Uh, is gonna. Secure this camp here. Uh, no, I mean, say alien FFA gonna secure this camp and then immediately going for the red camp. Mofa also going for the red camp. Both gonna meet up there. They're gonna meet up there. And it is night time, so as long as nobody actually avoids the creeps, they're gonna have to face into a fight. Uh oh. This looks bad. He does have a portion of invul. Uh, 15 second invul, by the way, so he should be fine. I don't think the, uh, he's gonna go down there. Although the undead, undead nuke, baby. You, you can't say anything about the undead nuke. Undead nuke is deadly. Devastating as hell. Big war storm going down. Here comes the blade master. Coming in with that blade strike, wind walk strike, and then going after them with critical strike again. And we got 15 second potion of invul going down. We use, needs to use that potion, uh, scroll of healing right away. Uh, healing wave that also works out. He has literally no military units here. I mean, the headhunter, berserker, one like, like that really doesn't count. Although the tri hero uh, orc that can be devastating at times. We got tri hero undead as well. So you know, it's really not something that not Mofat can't deal with there. Uh, could go could go either way i mean the dps is really on the side of alien ffa here the blade masters can just gonna hack and slash through the undead army there as he kills that fiend there now going after that option statue does have the lightning orb there so we're gonna have a lot of purges going down as mofad uses a lot of sleep here uh oh the blade master gonna use the potion of invul right away no crystal bolly ball so won't be able to reveal it right away so, I mean, you had a very risky situation, in my opinion, on the side of Alien FFA. I think you should have just either wind walked away a bit earlier or used the use this, um, potion of invul. Because uh, you put yourself in the situation right now that... Uh, you put yourself in a situation that you were prone to a one-hit KO by the Undead Nuke. And that's never, that's never really good. You got yourself down to that HP that you could have gotten hit by one hit. And my goodness, Necrowagon. Necrowagon coming in, baby. 
Got a lot of necromancers in the back end. Uh, meat wagons coming in, some obsidian statues as well. Ofat currently uh, at an army of 69. Gotta go up till 70 for the time being. What is this? Says uh, Jockey. Don't really know. Uh, don't really know what you're referring to, but he's going with wyverns. I'm disappointed. Uh he's going for a mixed bag of everything, and I'm 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 a bit confused as to what he's doing. He's performing brilliantly, though, as far as his fights are concerned. He's doing really well, but I don't really know what his idea. He just transitioned into wind riders. I'm not saying wind riders are bad. I mean, look at that DPS, but he doesn't know what's coming his way. He doesn't know what's coming his way, and like when he does know. I really hope that it's not gonna be too late because he went in for like tier 3. I would have said that uh, mass torrents would have been a good idea against Mofad, against Undead in general, but that's not gonna be the thing right now. And oh my god, the double purge! Level 3 torrent chieftain getting a helm of valor, plus 5 agility and strength on that big fat torrent chieftain. Gonna pass it away to the blade master. Of course, why not? You want agility, man! You want more agility there, and we're gonna have a level up on the blade as well. Crystal volleyball going down, but where did he reveal? He's revealing the expansion beside Mofad. No, no, not good idea. Not a good idea. He needs to know what Mofad is doing. He needs to know the necro wagons. He has no idea of the necro wagons just yet. At least not up till my knowledge from what I've seen so far. And if he did, he should be producing more and more of those uh, spirit walkers, and uh, needs a lot of disenchant. I mean, even if it goes for a lot of torrents, that's gonna be good. But wind riders, I mean, you can snipe down necro necromancers, but how are you gonna deal with the skeletons? Then you're gonna have to like run around and wait wait for them to wait for them to expire. The march of the scourge is on, baby. As Jockey says, the march of the scourge has begun. They are ready and they are poised to strike. They have begun their assault. And my mom called, but I'll answer to her in a moment there. They have begun their assault going after the big army of uh, rather the big uh, base of uh, alien FFA there. In FFA coming from the back end, but he knows that he made a mistake of going into the Wind Riders, but he's gonna try and make some benefit of that. He just almost managed to take out that Death Knight there. Look at the damage on those Wind Riders. That's a lot of damage. Their healing ward being placed at the back end for some extra edge on the healing there. Need some disenchant right away. We need some disenchant going down, baby. And you can snipe down those skeletons, but really you need disenchant. Horn Chieftain taking so much damage. And that Dreadlord needs to pop that scroll of healing. There we go. Need a death coil. Need a death coil right away. Torn Chieftain gets taken out in the midst of that fight. I didn't even see it getting taken out. There's so much things going on over there. Disenchant going down, but we need more of those. We need more from where that came from. Spirit Walker as he uh, transformed into a uh, uh, physical state. Needs to be an ethereal. In my opinion, it needs to be an ethereal against this army. You need more disenchant, and you need to like have it into the fight, while it's not taking too much, uh, not prone to too much uh, damage. There, Mofad's army is currently murdering, murdering uh, the base of uh, Alien FFA right here. It's taking so much damage. Phantom's likely gonna take gonna get taken out. I mean Alien FFA has a chance right now. Alien FFA can back out to his base. Let this expansion fall. Perhaps just uh, poke a bit around this area to not let Mofad um, completely, you know, uh, walk over it and then attack his main and get uh, the spirit walkers and stuff. And he's not even making spirit walkers. Oh my, this can this is gonna be a bad decision. This is gonna be a bad decision. He isn't making spirit walker. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna end up terrible for him, as the march of the scourge is on, and the march of the scourge is going to be relentless. And they're gonna. Uh, they're not gonna stop for until alien FFA is completely taken out. The skeleton warriors are too hard to deal with. We need a lot of disenchant. I mean, you can't deal with this without disenchant, unless and until you have something up your sleeve. Which uh, at this point, I don't really see alien FFA having. Currently sitting at a 61 food army. I mean, if you consider the food army food count there, Mofad is currently 88, which is beyond high upkeep. Against uh, 57 or 61, it doesn't matter. I mean, even if you don't have skeletons, it's, he's still going to win the fight with the number of units that he has right now. But, uh, I mean, he has skeletons as well. So, I mean, there's really no, there's really no other way there. 
Wind Riders die in 0 0.5 seconds, yeah. Material form takes like, extra damage from magic. Oh, okay, you're right on that one, Jockey. I didn't really think about it. Just keep crippling the Blade Master. That's one way of doing things. Uh, turn the orcs into the cripples and sleepers. Not in, not so not entirely smart thing to do. Hmm. In FFA, still trying to trying his best <laughs> to stay in there, but. He loses the Torn Totem, so no more Spirit Walkers. Like, you need a lot of Spirit Walkers here. Like, you need about at least half of the number of Spirit Walkers uh, to the number of Necromancers that Mofad has to deal with this, but he's not gonna have that. Blade Master goes down, and this game is technically over. Mofad can just stay in that position, and uh, by the way, 92 food army. <laughs> because why not? Why not? I can slowly take down them units one by one, and this is technically game, but we're gonna see Alien FFA put a val uh, last ditch effort, valiant effort there, but really Mofad just has this game in the bag right now. Necrowagon OP. Mass Cripple. Yeah, Cripple is a far better version of Slow for the guys that don't know. It doesn't have autocast for that abs absolute reason, but if you actually use it, then your opponent is gonna feel it. And he's gonna feel it much, much more than he feels slow. Hmm, Beat Dragons do a lot of damage with the third attack upgrade there. Currently, Mofad even isn't even trying to target the main there. I mean. Alien if he doesn't even have any gold income going down. Yeah, a lot of gold, but I mean this is over really. He's just He's just putting down that effort there. Really not gonna work out for him. And this is game. Doggy says I haven't seen any unholy frenzy being cast and I don't think I've seen that either. But it was one of the ways you could see uh, Necrogans being used. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I shall see you in the next episode of Warcraft Day.